And this is what we have for this week. Not really much. If we speak about the US dollar, the highlight of the week is certainly the release of the FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday. I can remind you that this meeting took place on November 2nd and the Federal Reserve decided to leave policy unchanged, saying that it will watch incoming danger and that there is still potential for U.S. labor market to, um, to become even better. Uh, still, we think that the main reason why the Federal Reserve didn't raise rates in November was concerns about the outcome of the U.S. presidential race and U.S. election. Now the Federal Reserve is seeing that uh, the market has uh, accepted Donald Trump's victory uh, rather fine. S&P 500 is doing rather well. Uh, U.S. inflation expectations have increased. And actually, we didn't see that kind of shock, that kind of demand for safe heavens as it was expected to be. So um, the Federal Reserve uh, will now have really little reason not to raise rates in December. And uh, as much has happened already since um, November 2nd, when there was that meeting of the Federal Reserve. The minutes of this meeting shouldn't be a big game changer for the market. We still, we already have uh, commands from the Fed's uh, chair, Janet Yellen, from last week, which represent a more fresh piece of data. So, in my opinion, Mm, you don't have to mm, overestimate uh, FOMC meeting minutes this time. Um, they will probably do little to change the market's expectations for December. So probably U.S. durable goods orders as the main piece of statistical data for the United States this week, uh, maybe even more important for some kind of short-term intraday trading. As for um, some medium-term trading, uh, I don't think that this piece of data will matter much either.